Psalms chapter 7, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord my God, believe that to him, O Lord my God, in thee, God, not Mary, not the church, do I, David, put my trust. Now it says, a Shagon of David, and it's a praise of David, which he sang unto the Lord concerning the words of Cush the Benjaminite. So this is your hymnal. David sung this. So David puts his trust in the Lord. Save me from all them that persecute me and deliver me. And for David, that was many. That was his whole life. He was constantly being persecuted. Now, when we're looking at the Jew in the tribulation period, since we're looking at the time that Jesus is going to come, the Antichrist is going to do much damage that has never been done before. And even Jesus, when he told his disciples the things to come, man, there's going to be a time on this planet that nothing such as ever had happened before. Matter of fact, it even says for the elect's sake that the time is going to be shortened. This is the story of David, and this is the story of the Jews in the tribulation period called Jacob's Trouble. Least he, the enemy, tear my soul like a lion. The Bible, Paul writes, the lion, you know, devil as our adversary goes by a lion seeking who he may devour. Scripture with scripture. Rending in peace. Now, the Bible says, Revelation, Jesus Christ is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Well, Jesus, the devil is the antichrist of the lion of the tribe of Judah. Being a lion himself as the antichrist will be the liar of God and Jesus. Rendered in pieces while there is none to deliver. Listen, in the tribulation period, there is no Holy Spirit. There is no help from God. There is no Jesus Christ. We're all in glory. You, you, the world is going to get what they want. They're going to get the devil, the, you know, the, the, their leader, and, the, and they're going to get rid of the Bible. They're going to get rid of God. They're going to get rid of Jesus for seven years. But Revelation 12 says God has prepared a place for the Jews. I mean, if God didn't show some mercy to <clears throat> the children of Israel, they would be wiped out a long time ago. God's mercy, oh, he's all finished with the Jews and why they still around. Everybody hates them. Oh, Lord, my God, again, if I have done this, if there be any iniquity in my heart, in my hands, and we saw this in Job chapter 9, David's confessing. Uh, Zacchaeus, when, when Jesus comes to his house, Jesus, if I've done any of this, if I've done any of that, it's asking God what we should ask God. God, what is in my life that offends you? If we're going to offend anybody, we ought not to offend God with our sins. And again, this is the Jews in the tribulation period. Not only David in his own life seeking God, seeking God, we've got a problem between us and you, Lord. Every Christian should get off all by himself and let God speak to him about their sins. Let a preacher do it. Let the Bible reading do it. If I have rewarded evil unto him that was at peace with me, yea, I have delivered him that without cause is my enemy. Again, this is something that Job. And David said, if I had rendered to somebody ill effects, something that they did not deserve, I'm guilty. I'm in trouble. Let the enemy persecute my soul. So when David sins against Uriah and, and the adultery acts of Bathsheba and killing Uriah, David gets by God the enemy chasing him in its own family. Let the enemy persecute my soul and take it. Well, that soul is... It's, it's the eternal part of you, but in the Old Testament, a Old Testament man did not have the redemption, did not have the adoption, did not have the spiritual circumcision, had the soul attached to the body. 
We as Christians today, if this body sins, and it does, we're not attached to our souls. Our soul is not mired when we sin, only our flesh, because we have been spiritually circumcised. And take it. Yea, let him tread down my life. Look at tread. Tread. Let's look at Jesus Christ. He's on a horse. You come back and you tread, Revelation says. Upon the earth, Jesus Christ, and lay my honor in the dust, Selah, Christ coming back in that horse, touching the earth. Arise, get up, Lord, come, second advent. Remember I said that Selah, around that Selah is second advent. Arise, O Lord. Like Stephen saw him. In thy anger. The second advent is not the, the pussycat baby come to be born. No, it is the lion, the tribe of Judah, angry. Going to take the goat nations and cast them off into hell. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies. Who's that? Antichrist and, and all the goat nations that did not help the Jews. Everybody that did not do what God told him to. Everybody that cussed God out when God sent the plagues. Awake. And the Bible speaks about Jesus Christ waking up with red eyes. For me to judgment. Again, second advent, separating the goats from the sheep. That thou hast commanded. So shall the congregation of the people, Jews, compass thee about when Jesus Christ comes back and he picks up the Jews, which we believe some believe is Celepetra. They're going to be all around Jesus Christ, the shepherd, his sheep, and those that help the sheep. Their sakes, therefore, return thou on high. Jerusalem is going to be the highest point in all the world in the millennium. The earth is going to be flattened out. The valley is going to be going to be brought up. The, the hill is going to be brought down. The, the crook is going to be made straight. And the highest place in the world is going to be Jerusalem. It's all second advent passage. And thou shalt judge the people, the Jews. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness. Now, I can't say that. I have no righteousness. I've got the righteousness of Jesus Christ and only of Jesus Christ and not of my own. The Bible says, for he has made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we may be made the righteousness of God in him, Jesus. Don't ever get the mistake of saying, oh, my salvation. It's not ours. Why would David say my salvation? Because he brought the lamb, he brought the goat, he brought whatever he needed to bring. I don't bring nothing. Wherever I am, say, Lord God, listen, this is my sin. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ. And it was all done by Jesus. So it's not our salvation. According to my integrity, you can't, I can't say that. That is in me. Now, that, 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 that young Pharisee that came to Jesus, the, the rich guy, he says, listen, what must I do attain eternal life? Jesus, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt honor the mother and father. And that guy says, listen, I've done all that. And Jesus didn't rebuke him at all. I can't say that. Job says, listen, I've done this, I've done that, done this, done that. And God never rebuked him. I can't say that. Paul said he was a Pharisee of all Pharisees. And he done this, he done that, he done this. And he says, I count that all dung. I can't say that. Now, count as dung, I can say, but I can't say what I have done. because. I've been a sinner for, since the time I've been born. Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked, I wonder who that could be, if it's coming out of the tribulation, come to an end. <laughs> All right. The Antichrist is cast off in the lake of fire. The false prophet is cast off in the lake of fire. And the devil's put in chains for a thousand years. But establish the just, the Jews, and those that help the Jews, for the righteous of for for the righteous God trieth the hearts and reigns. And some people say, "Well, God doesn't try it." Yes, He does. To show you where where you are. 
My defense is God, which saveth the upright in heart. Only salvation comes from God. God judges the righteous. So don't think, oh, okay, I'm a Jew. No. You're going to be judged too. Jesus told the disciples, listen, the judgment will begin at the house of God and then to work its way out to those who don't listen to God. All men saved or lost right in the, in the Old Testament or not right in the Old Testament that did what they were supposed to do during the Gospels, the life of Jesus Christ, and those who've done what they've done in this side of Calvary, and then what they do at, at, in Jacob's trouble, what they do during the millennium, everybody is going to be judged. All but Jesus Christ. And God is angry with the wicked every day. God loves, God hates the sinner, but loves women. God hates to sin, but he loves the sinner. What's that verse say? What's that verse say? Remember, Psalms 7, 11. Well, it, you know, it doesn't say he hates, it says he's angry. And they that have not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abiding upon them. Scripture with Scripture. What's it say? God is not happy. God is not in love with a wicked sinner. What's, the Bible, what's John write to a Christian? If you, don't have not, if you have not the love of the brother, a, 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 another Christian, you have not the love of God in you. If he turn not the wicked, if they will not repent, repent means turn, he, God, will what? Get ready, his sword. That's kind of interesting because what's coming with Jesus Christ? And has bent his bow and made it ready. That first white horse that shows up in Revelation 5 or 6 has a bow. <laughs> and God will judge his people by the Antichrist. The Antichrist is a chastening, a correction of the children of Israel for all the years they've gone against God. God uses the devil to correct. Cross-references. You can't mess with the Bible because then you mess with the cross-references. He, God, has prepared for him the, the instruments of death. God says, I make alive and I, I kill. The wages of sin is death, but God's in charge of it. He ordains his arrows against the persecutors. The devil has darts. Persecutors of who? The Jews. If this is a second advent passage and coming out of the tribulation period, those who've done ill to the Jews, and how do you know that? What's David? David's a Jew. A lot of people want to read Gentile in America in the Bible. No. Behold, he travaileth. Now, mark that word in the Bible, travaileth. Travaileth has every time an application, a double application in the Bible. It usually means a person in trouble. It's in reference to a woman in her travail of giving birth to a child, Revelation 12. And it also has reference to the tribulation period. He travails with iniquity. So what's some of your pain and sorrows from? From your iniquity. He convinces, conceiveth mischief. Well, this is like a pregnancy. It's not a baby. It's not a son. But it's sin. And brought forth pregnancy for falsehood. That's the Antichrist according to Thessalonians. The man of sin. The liar. John 8, 44. Cross references again. He made a pit. And digged it, a hole in the ground. This, you know, this pit would be made to catch animals. And it's fallen into the ditch which he made. Now the devil didn't make hell, God made hell. But the devil and the Antichrist, with their blasphemy against God and, and everything they do against God, they're just digging a hole, digging a hole, digging a hole. And God's like, okay, one day, boom. Gonna cast them into that hole. The, and pit. Now this is a hole being dug. Pit in the Bible is also hell. His mischief 
shall return upon his own head. He's shot and his right eye is clearly darkened. And his violent dealings shall come down upon his own pate head. The, the Antichrist is going to get what he reaped with the, doing what he does to the Jews and to all the people of the world. He'll get his just reserve, deserved. And David, I will praise the Lord according to his righteousness. What are the Jews going to do when the Antichrist and the false prophets are put away? What are they going to do when the devil is bound for a thousand years? What's going to happen? Man, it's going to be a celebration. It's going to be holiness. It's going to be righteousness. It's going to be the law of the Jewish people written by God, of God, by Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. And it's going to be great crops. It's going to be just a wonderful, great time. This is all tribulation second advent into millennium passage and will sing praise to the name of the lord most high they're not doing that today and they're definitely not singing praises of jesus christ today as a community group of a organization of a body of jews a nation of jews they're not singing praises to god and to jesus christ they will one day 